thing about Elemental Tabs is that it was quite limited in what you could do. Obviously, you had the tabs at the top. You could align the tabs to be left or right. Apologies for the font color you have there. And you could add your tabs. But that was about it. And in terms of styling, you could do that as well. Now, each of these tabs, you could put a title. You could drop some HTML in as well if you want. And then you went and added in your text and your images. Now, if you wanted to be really bespoke and funky, like you wanted to go, well, I want to put an accordion and a slider and an icon box into here, what you had to do was go out of here in a way, well, save it, go out of here, go to Elemental, Templates, create a template, get the short code, delete that, drop the short code into there, and then it would appear. But now with Elemental 3.10, you can now do nested tabs. First thing you've got to do is go over to Elemental in your WordPress dashboard, go to Settings, and then go to Experiments. For just a little bit down here, you'll see nested elements. Go and activate that and then go down and click the save changes. I'm going to get rid of the old tabs because what you don't want to do is start confusing Elemental with the new and the old. And by the way, if you go and add in a tab and then you activate, it ain't going to work. You've got to add the tabs in from scratch again. So let's just go in and get a tab now. Now when we drop this in, it already looks instantly different. We now have some bit more styling going on there with the buttons. And can you now see we have a plus sign drag widgets here. Let's just explore what we get. Tab 1, Tab 2 and Tab 3. We can obviously, well, sorry, let me just explain that again. This is kind of normal where we could align it, right? But the new feature now is that you can actually put your buttons to the left or the right. This is great. Because I used to put in custom CSS if you wanted to go and put your buttons into the left or right like that. So I think this is really, really neat and really, really good. We also have a responsive setting for your breakpoint as well. But what we have here, I think is super cool. And we have some further styling. So if you want to do anything with the gaps between the buttons like that, uh, the distance from the content. And of course, you can modify your styling. Um, by the way, uh, the tabs, the titles, and the icon, this is all relevant for the tabs, okay? With regards to the content, the most you can do is kind of give it a border. So you might want to go, right, we're going to give a complete border around everything like that. Or you can go and add in some padding like this. Now, this is for the, um, the estate of the tabs. It does not change the content. Okay, so bear that in mind, because what you do in the content is a whole new ball game. And I'll tell you what, it is super exciting. Let's just get rid of all those values. So let's say we got tab one, and I now want to drop in an accordion and a call to action and loads of other stuff like that. I now hit the plus sign, and we're in familiar Flexbox container territory now. So I might want to go with something like that. Look at that. We have two child containers and another child container down there. I can now go over here and drop whatever I want. Let's drop in an accordion here. Let's go for a slider over there. Let's drop a call to action in as well. I mean, look, ugh, I mean, this is crazy, right? What am I doing? What am I doing? Obviously, you would style it. Remember, you are working. And if I just go to Navigator, look, we have container. We have our tab. We have tab one, just to make sure you can see that. And then we have our container, and then we got all of our children basically sat all within there. In a way, tab one is your parent container, okay? Everything else is the child. So if I now want to go in and start to modify the margins, paddings, the row, the column, you know, the direction, all of that, if you're used to Flexbox container, this is basically it. Now, what if I want to modify though tab two? So I'm just going to go and click on tab two now. I mean, I have found this is the better way to do it, if I'm really honest. I'm going to click on tab two, and I'm then going to drop, I mean, I mean, look, let me tell you about the little thing I have noticed, and I'm sure they'll work through, is if I hit drag widget, it instantly does this. It jumps me back over to tab one. Then I have to click tab two again. Then it allows me to now pick my layout. So I'm going to go with one container. It kind of keeps jumping back to tab one, which I have to admit is a little bit annoying. Anyway, I'm going to click back into tab two and where I've got my container. Now I'm going to start dropping in my widgets. I'm just going to go for a text editor and I'm going to drop this into tab two. Okay, I could duplicate this if I want. And, you know, like what I've already shown you already, I might even drop in a header just over here as well. So if we now just hit update for a moment, Okay, let me just show you how this is going to look on the preview, okay? Tab 1, as it automatically opens up to show that, there we've got an uh, accordion. It's not styled, let it go. We've got our slider there as well, which would probably be autoplay, and we've got a call to action. I haven't stylized the viewport height and all of that. Let it go, okay? Then we have tab 2. That's all I've done so far, and tab 3 is going to be empty. I've not added anything yet. 
But this nestable functionality, I think is super, super cool. Of course, I have just stated there is a bit of a limitation here. I mean, look, if I was to go over here and hit tab three, and then I go plus sign, it keeps jumping back over to tab one. And I would love to see them correct that, okay? Because it, I shouldn't have to click again to go back, but I'm sure they're onto it. But the functionality you have here, not, and remember, you can uh, duplicate tabs, you could add in a new one, you can rename them, you can do lots and lots of things here. I think this is a great feature and it shows a step in the right direction. And I hope we eventually, very soon, get nestable accordions, uh, nestable sliders, nestable carousels, nest within a nest. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I